It's the last day of public practices here in Georgetown. The team will head back to Cincinnati tomorrow and we'll have the game against the Broncos on Sunday night. Overall, this camp really hasn't been bad. There was the crush the first couple days after the Terrell Owens signing, but mostly it's been smooth for two weeks. The defense is still a little bit ahead of the offense, but over the last couple practices, the offense has caught up. Carson Palmer's had a better rapport with Owens, along with Chad Ochocinco, and Jermaine Gresham's improving. On the defense, Adam Jones continues to make gains. The linebackers look solid, and the defensive line's getting some pass rush, too. Overall, though, two quick weeks in Georgetown, and they go back, and we'll have practices next week before they prepare for the Eagles. That's what's great about Georgetown is there's yeah. not a whole lot going on outside of football, so uh, it, it'll help guys that, that need uh, a little bit of a little bit more focus that really have to focus in and really, uh, you know, take uh, you know take a lot of responsibility on their own to really be still focused on football and, and not let outside things get get in their way. My assessment of the Cincinnati Bengals 2010 edition is they had to put more tools in Carson Palmer's tool belt, and they did that. In the draft and in free agency, they really, really stocked themselves at the wide receiver position. I think when Chad Ochocinco comes out on one side of the line of scrimmage and T.O. comes out on the other side of the line of scrimmage, you're going to make some decisions. And it's going to help Cedric Benson and, and Bernard Scott in the running game. It's going to remove people from the box inside the tackles, and running lanes will be bigger. It's up to the offensive line. They're going to improve in their pass protection. Defensively, though, with Mike Zimmer, that'll be the heart and soul of the football team. Everybody comes back. It's the third year under Mike Zimmer's system. They know exactly where they're supposed to be, when they're supposed to be there, and they're playing fast. And I think the defensive football team will be one of the top five in the NFL once again.